I'm Anthony Blackburn and I'm the founder of Golf in Society. And Golf in Society is a social enterprise with a mission to put local golf clubs at the heart of local communities. And by doing that, we transform the lives of people facing challenges later in life and also their unpaid carers. This latest research project we've done over the last year has all been about reimagining golf clubs as health hubs. And we started back in February when we got a group of people together, health professionals, people living with a diagnosis, carers, people working in the golf industry, researchers, occupational therapists. And we sat down in a room with a service design expert and we basically thrashed out all of the challenges that families later in life are facing in terms of accessing health professional support and remaining active and feeling as though they're still part of society and part of the community. It was very emotional at times understanding some of the real challenges that people were going through. The beauty of that process is that it allowed us to sit down and really think about how we can transform services to make sure that we put these families desperate for support at the heart of getting the support that they need. And from then, we sort of designed, developed, tweaked, uh, ran a few pilot sessions with beneficiaries to see whether or not the actual programming was going to work. And out of that, we came up with a 12-week program. And the 12-week program has basically started with us measuring at week one the physical, cognitive, function of individuals, both people with a diagnosis of either dementia, cognitive uh, decline or frailty, but also their unpaid carers. We measured that at week one. We then did interim measurements of the same things after six weeks, and then we finalised it with uh, the, yeah, a 12-week uh, measurement of how they'd improved. You can, you can see it with people, how they, they, they can function much better, the physicality is better, um, they're interacting more, so as I said, there's cognitive improvements there. So you can just see it through that 12-week period, how this pilot has come together and just improved the lives of the people that, uh, that come onto the scheme. A lot of people have spoken about feeling a sense of belonging, and because of that, they're able to engage in a sport that they thought wasn't for them. They've seen improvements in their personal abilities, in their sort of self-efficacy, their sense of um, personal causation, that they can, they can do things uh, that they thought formerly they haven't been able to do. The one complaint that people have given me is we don't want the project to end. They come in with a smile on their faces. Um, when they're together, you can see the, the relationships forming and the bonds that they're, they're making. The programme itself has been really, really good because it's been co-designed, co-created, and we've actually integrated into it Allied health professional support. So not only have people had access to these beautiful green spaces and built infrastructures that golf clubs have available, in particular this one here at Hillsborough Golf Club, but also they've had the opportunity to access 12 weeks of occupational therapy, physiotherapy, golf coaching, opportunities to socialise, opportunities to access wellbeing events, We've brought all of the things that families need with them at the heart of it together at a local golf club and delivered it here. We've never been anywhere near a clinical setting, a hospital setting. It's all being done on their doorstep in their local community. And that is exactly what we wanted to create here. From me as a carer, my husband as a carer, it's an activity we can do together. It gets my husband out for two, three hours. He's interacting with other people. Didn't expect it being like it is, but it made me a different person. I spend a lot of time on my own, and it's, I've, I've looked forward to choose this. So apart from the fact that the research, once finalised, will be very compelling and impactful in terms of what we've managed to create, the most important thing for me is that we've reimagined the golf club and we've put it at the heart of the local community. And everything we set out to do at the start We've achieved. We haven't had to be prescriptive. We started with an idea and we've let it evolve with the feedback of individuals working, delivering the project, but also benefiting from the project along the way. So what we've now got is a much more fine-tuned service and all those 
Adjustments, amendments have all been done with the feedback from the people benefiting from it and delivering it. So we feel as though after the year, we've, uh, we've come up with something that is ready for scaling, ready for adopting more widely, because there's no reason at all that this service that we've designed and delivered with all of these families at the heart of it cannot be adopted across golf clubs and other community-based settings across the UK.